everybody, Cindy A. Lewis, and I hope you're doing well tonight. Welcome to my channel. I am your host this evening, and I'm going to be sharing about using gilding flakes. I have gilding flakes from Spectrum Noir. These are the huge um, containers. I'm telling you, these are huge. I also have the carnival colors, so pretty. And then I purchased some little small ones with different colors from Amazon. These they're on Amazon, they're called gold flakes and um, really fun to use. I'm going to show you how to use them. And then there's a link below if you want to buy this set for $11.99 from my Amazon store. Yep, little commission, probably pennies. But um, if you're interested, there's a direct link and you can find it that way. All right, so let's jump in. I'm going to show you how easy it is to apply these to any of your projects. And then we're just going to have some fun playing with it. And I uh, hope that you'll try it out in your next craft. So what we're going to do is try out some of the different flakes, show you how it works. And then um, you can just, we're going to just try it a bunch of different ways. So the first way we're going to do is just put some um, red liner tape. Red liner tape is just a strong double stick tape. So I have some here, page here, and oops, got an extra one there. And I'm just gonna pull that. See, you have a little glue there, really good glue. So we're just gonna take some of this gold and let's do gold and copper. These are the small ones, and I want silver, if I can find it, silver. Now, these are the ones from Amazon. So, really, all you do, let me pull this down, is you just take your flakes. Now, these will last, and you just put them on like this. These will last, this will last a really long time. And I'm just going to put that on there. And then whatever you have left over, you can put back in the jar. So you can see there's a lot here. Okay, so that's the gold. You can put it, what's gonna end up being is a mixed jar. So then I have some of this. Oh, there's some. This is kind of copper color. Oop, that's a big piece. Put it right there. Put it right there. Maybe put a little, a little piece there. And then I do wanna mix in silver. So you can see, I'm just mixing it all up. Gold, silver, copper. Oh, and there's some silver. Stick that on the end there. Make sure we got enough. Put it there. A little bit of silver here. Now, once you start playing with this, like this could edge your just car. Just a regular sponge. So I'm gonna show you. Now I just rub this on like this. Get it all in that beautiful piece of double stick tape. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful, right? There is a tape pen. You can see the, the little glue strip there that comes out of the tape pen. Now I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna use some different colors. This is purple. Just wanna show you um, the different colors together that you can get. Now this, this package comes with 24 different colors for the lemon. Got a lot of blue here, just everywhere. So, okay. And then we've got a little pink. And you just have to know that um, this may get a little, not super messy, but um, it may, ooh. They do, uh, they do stick together. So you want to make sure you get it on the glue. Just spread it around. I pulled a little bit of that out. Okay. And then again, just take your sponge and rub it. And this is a very cool um, way to add some fine color to your little projects. And then there's that one. Of course, I'm making a mess, so just one moment. All right, very, very pretty. 
right there, that gold, that gold, copper, silver, and the purple, blue, and pink are fuchsia. Now, one thing that you may want to do, and I'm just using scrap paper, is if you have any shapes that are double stick, like this right, set, so this would just um, attach to your card or whatever, and you pull this top off like you would any foam adhesive. There we go. And then all you have to do is take your gilding plate. So let's try uh, one of these. Now, as I said, the small ones um, will last a long time. Well, these big, huge ones will last a lifetime. And they're beautiful. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So I'm just gonna tear this one little sheet here and put it on. And then I'm gonna take this copper and put it on there also and being very careful finally the air went off so um this is not a good craft to do if you have the wind blowing or a fan on um maybe because it blows your flakes everywhere lesson learned okay and then this one is silver we're going to easily open this one um, or being easy with it and just all you're doing is putting your flakes um, on your adhesive okay so we're just gonna put that there and we'll put a little silver down here okay okay so now we're gonna close that up and just take your sponge and you just rub it in, basically. And then you have a cool shape with a very unique style and design on it that no one else has. So look at that. Isn't that pretty? Another thing that you can do is take your glue and a dry ink pad. So there's no ink on this ink pad. And I'm gonna put some liquid glue Once on there. you have your glue, oh. All right. Once you have your glue, it comes out, my glue came out pretty fast. You just cover your ink pad as if it is a, a stamping ink. You take your glue and you put it on your, your little, stamp. I'm using a butterfly here and I'm just going to stamp it on my butterfly. Now this is special glue but you wouldn't want to leave it on there. All right so now I'm going to stamp my butterfly on here with my rock -a block and let that glue kind of okay, set. Butterfly is ready for some gilding flakes. So I'm going to put some gold in the middle and on the edges of the wings. I'll put a little bit more here. The gold is beautiful. Okay, and then dun, da, 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 we're going to put some green Green, oh, lots of green, not a lot. You don't need a lot, really. You just need to put it on there. And I'm gonna put this, they fell out, put that on there. Okay, so remember my butterfly stamp, right? Okay. Now here's my sponge, and I'm just gonna go over it with my sponge. And look at that butterfly, you guys. Look at that butterfly. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. So what do you think? Pretty, Okay, we're huh? gonna just try this. Um, my other one, I dried too much. So we're gonna give it a whirl with this. I'm just gonna do some of this pink here, this fuchsia color. Um, 
I will tell you, this is going to last. I don't know how many times I've said that, but a lot, I guess. All right, so we're just going to stick this on to my letters here and here. Okay, then again, watch fans and ceiling fans, air conditioner. So it seems to blow really easily. And then just rub it with your sponge. And then there you go. You just want to let it dry enough uh, where it's not too wet. Um, so that you can put, put the gilding flakes on. And then you'll want to get that cleaned off. So anyway, really fun tonight. Um, my favorite is this beautiful um, butterfly here. I'm, I haven't finished cleaning off the page because I was trying to get through for you guys. But such a beautiful butterfly and that is gorgeous. So you can use tape and glue and uh, whatever you have. And just, you know, these last a really long time. This is a small one, but it's going to last forever. And those big ones are, are going to last even longer. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this demo. And you'll uh, let me know if you try Gilding Flakes. Have a good night. Thanks for watching.